Hey guys, let's start the 49th episode of Daily Football News and know what has happened in the past 24 hours. Did Mancini modernized Italy? FIFA 22 cover stars Mbappé. Congratulations to Argentina for winning Copa America. Did Messi climb the ladder up to win Ballon d'Or? Let's quickly find out all of these in this video. Before starting this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Argentina beats Brazil by one goal to nil to seal the Copa America. It is Argentina's first trophy in 28 years, and it is also Messi's first trophy with Argentina. Today football will be proud and happy for Messi. What do you think comment down below? Inter's pursuit of Hector Bellerin has made little progress, according to Fabrizio Romano. Arsenal is eager to sell the defender, but are not willing to accept the loan to buy option proposed by Inter. And so the Italian club is turning to Atalanta's hands hate bore as a potential option to replace a Traf Hakim who recently joined PSG. Pep Guardiola has spoken directly with the attacker in recent weeks. Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola has spoken to Antoine Griezmann about a potential move to the Premier League, reports Foot Mercado. Barcelona is open to selling Griezmann as the club looks to balance its budget amid major debt issues, but few clubs in the world could afford the French attacker. Manchester City's primary target this summer is Harry Kane, but if Tottenham is unwilling to lower their price, Griezmann could become their newest attacking option. AC Milan's interest in Hakim Ziyech and Taim Bakayoko could help pave the way for Chelsea to sign Erling Haaland, reports Football. London, the Italian side has already signed Olivier Giroud from the Blues, with the club also tracking the two Chelsea midfielders. Selling those two, along with Tammy Abraham, could help Chelsea build the funds needed to make a run for Haaland. Thibaut Cordes has questioned whether Manchester United forward Anthony Marshall should be considered a star player in an interview conducted by Belgium teammate Jan Vertonghen. Name three star players who will not compete in the Euros, said Vertonghen on picks. Vertonghen then listed Erling Haaland, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen, Virgil van Dijk, Moise Keane, Marilyn Pijanic and Marshall among valid possibilities. Marshall? Courtois asked. He is a star player. Courtois then shrugged and both players laughed. Harvey Elliott has signed a new five-year contract at Liverpool, with the teenager eager to see more competitive outings for the Reds. On the special feeling of representing Liverpool, Elliott told the club's official website, It's always going to be there throughout the years I'm here. Hopefully, it's going to be a long time. Alponso Davies has been ruled out of Canada's Gold Cup squad because of an ankle injury, Canada Soccer has announced. The Bayern Munich left-back went down in training earlier this week and is now on his way back to his club to begin his recovery. Manchester City legend Sean Goder would like to see Erling Haaland or Kylian Mbappe give 10 years to the Premier League champions. However, he believes that a deal for Tottenham striker Harry Kane is the most likely option. Paris Saint-Germain has emerged as the big player of the summer window so far, already making several big signings. With Sergio Ramos, Gini Wijnaldum and Atraf Hakimi already signed up and Gianluigi Donnarumma likely on the way. PSG have shown that they truly mean business. Den Davies has no desire to leave Liverpool this summer despite failing to make an appearance for the Reds after joining this past season and having offered to join other clubs, according to the Mirror. Barcelona has, according to La Sportiu, received offers from Martin Braithwaite. The Danish forward could be among those moved on this summer as the Blagrana seek to free up funds and cut costs. Danilo is confident that Cristiano Ronaldo will remain in Juventus and would like to see former Manchester City teammate Gabriel Jesus added to Bianconi's attacking options. He has told Gazeta dello Sport on a Portuguese colleague. He'll still be with us next season. Eds to table bid for Wolves star. Liverpool is willing to pay 25 million euros for Wolves winger Adama Traor, claims Football Insider. The Reds are exploring the option of prizing another star away from Malinex a year on from landing Diogo Jota. Tottenham is, according to 90 Minutes, confident that Hugh Min Sun will commit to a new contract. The South Korean forward has seen questions asked of his future amid the Harry Kane transfer talk, but he will see fresh terms put to him in North London. Barcelona has options in mind when it comes to signing a new backup goalkeeper. With Nito seemingly set to depart, Mundo Deportivo claims the Blagrana have their sights set on Jordi Massip of Real Valladolid and Levante Sater Fernandez. The centre-back is rumoured to be departing the Bundesliga champions Bayern Munich centre-back Niklas Sewell could leave the club when his contract expires at the end of the 2021-2022 season. According to Kicker, talks are ongoing with the 25-year-old. However, Bayern is open to selling the Germany international this summer if an agreement is unreachable. Sewell joined Bayern in 2017 and has since made 86 Bundesliga appearances. Arsenal and Manchester United are mulling over moves for Barcelona defender Samuel Mtiti, Claims El Gal Digital, the World Cup winning Frenchman is available this summer as those at Camp Nou are looking to cut costs and move fringe players on. Now, let's move towards the major news of the day. Jadon Sancho will become a better player if handed the famous number 7 shirt at Manchester United. 
claims the winger's former youth coach Louis Lancaster, with the England international closing in on a 73 million euros move to Old Trafford. Lancaster, who worked with Sancho at Watford, told the Stratford Paddock YouTube channel of taking a jersey previously filled by the likes of Eric Cantona, David Beckham and Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't think it would phase him. I think he'd be a better player for having that shirt, because of the pressure. Some players choke and some people get a bit more, 10% under pressure. I say give him the shirt. England secures a first appearance in a major international final since lifting the World Cup in 1966. They had been the better, strong, fitter side too, that was beyond dispute. Sterling was adamant that he had been fouled. Telling ITV Sport, I went into the box and he stuck his right leg out, and it touched my leg, so it was a clear penalty. But then the slow motion replay confirmed my first impression, there was nothing there that should have resulted in a penalty. I expected the BIR to correct the decision. For me, it is incomprehensible that he did not at least send the referee in front of the screen to look at the incident again. Social media, as it so often does, immediately went into meltdown. Even several England icons questioned the call. A lack of an international title has been a stick to beat Messi with throughout his career, but now he has set the record straight after winning Copa America. Messi did not rule out him. He succeeds in bringing back Copa America against such a formidable opponent. Any doubts over his status as the greatest footballer in history Messi has cleared those doubts as well. Messi wins the best player of the tournament and top scorer. Is 7th Ballon d'Or loading on his bucket now? Comment down below your thought. PSG star Kylian Mbappé will once again serve as the cover athlete for the latest iteration of EA Sports FIFA series. Mbappé will be on the cover of FIFA 22 when the game is released later this year. Having previously been on the cover of FIFA 21, his selection makes him the first player to repeat as a cover athlete since Cristiano Ronaldo, who fronted both FIFA 18 and FIFA 19. Mbappé made his cover debut in FIFA 21. Lionel Messi and Ronaldo dominance, with Messi serving as the cover athlete of FIFA 13 to FIFA 16, sharing the honors on FIFA 15 with Hazard. Wayne Rooney has also had a sustained period of dominance when it comes to the FIFA cover, sharing the honors every year from FIFA 2006 to 2012 on the worldwide editions. Remy Savage will never forget his first taste of first team training at Liverpool. It was the day he found himself marking Mohamed Salah. It was the Friday before the first game of last season against Leeds. The young defender says, smiling at the memory. A few of us got the call to go up to the seniors. I ended up playing at left back, so it was me against Salah. It was some challenge, let me tell you. Salah's strengths, his speed, his movement and his relentless desire for scoring goals are well known, but anyone who has seen the Egypt international up close will tell you he is much. Much more than that, Savage knows. He nods when Goal tells him that Trent Alexander-Arnold once said Salah was the strongest player he'd ever encountered. You couldn't get near him, he's so, so strong. What a player he is. Gareth Southgate has lauded the work of Roberto Mancini in making Italy virtually unrecognizable from the squad he encountered in his playing days. Warning of the threat Mancini's modernized system poses. Given Italy's strength, Southgate said his team must play at their best to have a chance of securing victory. The England boss believes the Three Lions and the Azuri are the two best teams of Euro 2020 and deserve foes in the final on Sunday. They've got a very clear way of playing, great spirit, great energy in the way they play. Tactically like all Italian teams very good. But also the style of play is probably different to the Italian teams from when I was younger. Very modern. Southgate told Sky Italy. I have been watching them closely for two years because I know the job Roberto Mancini was doing. It's an exceptional team and I think, without doubt, the two best teams in the tournament have made the final. The launch of the next FIFA game, FIFA 22 is on the horizon and eager gamers certainly have the popular esports title on their wishlist. The coronavirus pandemic delayed the launch of last year's edition. But as of yet, there are no delays expected for the release of the next version of the football game. FIFA 22 is expected to be released in September or October 2021. Last year, the standard edition of FIFA 21 cost €59.99 Euros in the UK and €59.99 in the US. It is expected that prices should remain around the same for FIFA 22. FIFA 22 is expected to be released on the next-gen consoles PlayStation 5. Xbox Series X by S, as well as Windows, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Once the release date for FIFA 22 is announced, eager gamers should be able to pre-order the new game. FIFA Street Football Mode Volta has had continual updates such as players, clothing and items during the year and these will continue in FIFA 22. Kylian Mbappé has been confirmed as the cover star of FIFA 22. Ronald Koeman admits to being concerned by Lionel Messi's contract situation, with the Argentine superstar still a free agent at present as Barcelona cannot afford to put a new deal in place. Salary cap issues are posing plenty of problems at Camp Nou, with costs needing to be cut before summer signings and those waiting on fresh terms can officially put pen to paper. There is confidence in Catalonia that a deal will be done. 
but Barkabas Komen concedes that uncertainty is doing nobody any favors. The Dutchman told reporters at a golf event, when everything is not right, you have to be concerned, I have confidence in the president Joan Laporta to solve this issue. Laporta told me to be calm, that they are working on the issue and we are confident that he will be there for a few more years. Finally, the day arrived, and in the most thrilling of circumstances, Lionel Messi finally banished the memories of years of international despair as his Argentina team down Brazil 1-0 to take the Copa America title in the Selecao's backyard. And having played every single minute of the tournament, driving his bruised body to new limits amid the flying tackles of South America's fearsome defenders. There is now no doubt that this Copa, from start to finish, belonged to the 34-year-old wizard, who was just 7 when, in 1993, the Albaisla's last experienced glory in this competition. After almost 20 years and four finals, La Polga is the champion of South America, the emblem of a young, confident Argentina team who make up for their lack of star power with an unshakable sense of solidarity and unity. But without Messi, their path to Americana glory would have been far less clear. Now, his place alongside Diego Maradona and the rest of his nation's greats is sealed. This was the end of our 49th episode. We will be back with more interesting news and transfer rooms tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon.